Hello everybody, Dimple here again welcoming you all back to my today's session on Android Framework Components. So it's been quite some time since I uploaded my uh, previous video. Uh, so in today's session we will be seeing what is this MDM and EMM concept in Android. So uh, most of us will be using Android phones, but we do not exactly know how these Android phones are used in uh, business critical operations, in large uh, business related operations. We just use our phone and we learn features on that. But uh, I felt it is important to know these uh, concepts like MDM and EMM uh, because you'll get to know how exactly the corporate works, how exactly Android devices are used in these corporate environments okay so uh, that is the reason uh, why I chose to uh, do this session so here you all will come to know what is MDM why it is used and what is EMM why it is used and such other concepts so let's get started to begin with what exactly is this MDM so MDM is nothing but it is a mobile device management okay what we will do when we have uh, a large corporate uh, business and we are using all our android phones it's not easy right it's not easy to maintain the business critical information to maintain the privacy and security of all the data because uh, these data should not be leaked right so it's very very important to manage these large devices there will be thousands of devices out in uh, business which will be used and it's very important to maintain the privacy and security so it cannot be done manually that is why we use these tools called MDM so I hope you got a rough idea so MDM is nothing but it's a tool to name a few there are uh, MDMs like Intune, Airwatch, Soti these are the uh, companies which will uh, provide security and um, uh, maintain all the information private it will like manage the devices of another corporate company okay so uh, uh, to manage this MDM and all there will be a few companies which will manage the data and mobile devices of other companies it's like that okay so it's all about remotely managing devices allowing users to perform certain prescribed tasks on their phone and tablets MDM includes features like device provisioning enrollment device security and location tracking it also helps in wiping the data in case device is stolen or lost okay so all these things are done by MDM so if some devices been lost or stolen this MDM will be having a track of the online devices which devices are online which devices are uh, um, stolen where what is the location of each and every device everything will be tracked by these MDMs okay so basic MDM tool can enforce security policies track inventory and perform real-time monitoring and reporting so it's very simple so imagine I have a large company where I'm using lakhs of Android devices to do some operations and it's very difficult for me to manage all these devices I cannot keep track of uh, which devices where okay the location or which device is lost or if any device data has been wiped out I cannot keep a track okay so as a uh, company owner what I will do I will uh, uh, give this responsibility of managing all all my one lakh devices to one particular MDM so this MDM will be free to uh, use their policies apply policies uh, apply security uh, enforcements to make the device secure device and the data in the device secure that's all so let's move on so uh, there are few aspects of MDM so first first what we have to do we have to do device enrollment so as I told I'm a company owner I will give this particular uh, managing the responsibility of managing my devices into some MDM okay as uh, uh, I named a few MDMs uh, which I'm aware of Intune, OT, Airwatch I can choose any one among them based on my business uh, criteria and uh, I will give any one okay what they will do first they will enroll all the devices into their MDM 
ओके सो इट विल बी ईजी फॉर दम टू अप्लाई द पॉलिसी सेकेंड डिवाइस प्रोविजनिंग सो यर वॉट दे विल डू यर दे विल डिसाइड विच एप्स आर वेरी क्रूशियल फॉर बिजनेस यूज डे बाय डे बिजनेस यूज ओनली दोज एप्स दे विल एनेबल एंड फ्यू सेटिंग्स दे विल एनेबल एंड डिसेबल ऑन योर डिवाइस ओके दे मे चेंज द स्क्रीन टाइम आउट और दे मे चेंज द पैटर्न ऑल सच थिंग्स few uh, very secure uh, settings on your device will be changed so under this device provisioning step that will happen then device security they will make sure uh, uh, all the uh, passwords and other critical information on the device is secure okay and device monitoring and reporting so here they will have a particular dashboard in that particular dashboard they will keep monitoring the uh, remote devices okay so my devices may be used at multiple locations for example uh, my company devices i can give for delivery purposes to scan in a delivery operation or it may be used in any warehouse so my devices will be scattered around so all those uh, devices will be monitored and status of every device will be reported in their particular dashboard they will have one uh, dedicated dashboard for that so they can come to know which device is active which device is inactive which device is out of range all those things they will come to know A remote data wiping suppose if they feel any device is lost or stolen that time immediately they will wipe out the data on that device because it should not uh, reach the hackers right so data will be wiped on those devices which are found to be lost or stolen enforcing security policy a uh, multiple security policies they will enforce um, so that they will give access like this person can access only these particular applications on the device okay every person will not have access to all the apps on the device so that part will be taken care and data loss prevention data will be backed up in a separate server so in case is um, um unfortunately if any data is lost always there will be a backup so these are the things which are done by mdm basically they will keep monitoring and uh, uh, the status of every device which is remotely used that is your main responsibility so i hope you all are uh, understanding uh, the concept of mdm so let's move on next we will see what is emm okay Uh, so emm is a set of people processes and technologies to secure okay before that sorry emm stands for enterprise mobility management and it's a um, set of people processes or technologies to secure and manage both corporate issued and user owned mobile devices in an organization nowadays uh, we can see that uh, if i'm having an android phone and if i'm using it for personal use as well as for corporate office work we can see there are two different profiles uh, which is making sure both these data are isolated i'm not mixing up my my personal data with my professional data and vice versa so to make sure okay um, make sure that you are using your device correctly for both personal and professional use this emm comes into concept because nowadays everyone are using it for both the purposes uh, so whatever i told you mdm that is a subset of emm so emm means it will include mdm apart from that it will include other uh terms also so i uh, will see that yeah uh, so as i already told emm will include mdm and it also includes mam which is nothing but mobile application management so uh, if i want um, only few applications my company i want only few applications to be downloaded from the play store i do not want uh, unwanted applications unwanted games to be downloaded from the play store so giving uh, only uh, permission giving permission only to download few specific 
apps okay and restricting the downloading of other apps is done by mobile application management so it will um, maintain the apps installed on your phone it will have access controls to the apps which can be downloaded from the play store all such things are done by mam so we saw mdm and we saw mam both of these are part of emm that's all so what so these mdm mam all these will um, manage the features and few settings on your device but emm will manage the entire device so that's the basic difference uh, containerization means yeah just what i told uh, it's about isolating your personal and professional work content management uh, means uh, content management is all about uh, remote distribution and uh, content distribution of your business critical information okay it's just like uh, wherever required it will provide the business content and security management yeah giving access uh, for only few particular applications so there are different uh, uh, terms used like lockdown modes are there kiosk modes are there which means that only one application will be able to run on your device and any user of that device can use only that application okay so all those uh, points come under security management so here what they do is that everyone cannot access everything chosen people can access chosen applications they segregate those information and they take security measures to uh, keep your data private your corporate data private mobile expense management uh, this will uh, basically check your uh, communication status how much data your device is consuming all such things identity and access management this is also the same what i already told about security so uh, this uh, includes maintaining very strong passwords so that easily someone cannot log into your device and um, for every uh, level of employment there will be few apps which they can access all such things will come under this part so we saw mdm and we saw emm i hope it's clear but yeah we will see this um, differences between mdm and emm so mdm enables control and security of the end users mobile devices within an organization so uh, mobile device within an organization is controlled by this mdm okay emm is a combination of tools and processes to secure and manage company owned or employee owned devices irrespective of their location so irrespective of their location emm is a combination of processes and tools for example mdm is also part of emm and mam which i told mobile application management that is also a part of eam so it's like that okay so this is a larger scale this is a smaller scale you can take it like that. That. MDM solutions enable IT admins to customize and pre-configure settings related to the hardware, operating system, platform, etc. So this IT admin will have the control how they are uh, IT uh, IT. admins will take over the control of how the corporate profiles should look like okay what are the settings hardware they can use what are the operating systems they can use okay what are the applications they are restricted to use all such things will be controlled by this it admin it admin will make these changes and deploy it on all the devices at once EMM solutions enable IT admins to configure settings to manage not only devices but also application information and content so here IT admins manage only the devices but EMM will take care that IT admin is also managing the data in that device the content in that device and the applications running on that particular device okay MDM focuses on device and features of the device EMM focuses on securing and managing the data and applications on the device so this is the uh, best point which explains the main difference so if i'm very concerned about my device the location of my device that time i go for mdm but if i'm very very concerned about the content inside that device that time i choose emm
so it will secure the data and content of my device prime features involve device location tracking remote device lock remote data wipe data wipe passcode policy configuration prime features involves browser security settings which will uh, restrict uh, from accessing few websites application management again it will restrict uh, from accessing few apps conditional email access same thing here multi factor authentication like this means multiple persons can use the same device there will be one android device which will be used by uh, say four people so each person will have their own share each person will have their own profile and their own passwords okay i cannot access the content or uh, data of another person it will be isolated so that part will be taken care by enterprise mobility management so uh, to simply put in simple words the main difference between mdm and emm is that mdm manages all the features of the device okay whereas emm will manage the entire device EMM will provide a uh, policy compliance app customization data and document security okay and it incorporates into a network directory services so that's it i wanted to tell you all today i hope you all at least got some idea about emm and mdm i just uh, wanted to do this topic because uh, uh, next video i was planning to do about uh, device policy manager uh, framework in android so uh, to go into that topic we need to have at least a rough idea of what is this mdm emms so we will not have um, idea about how these devices are used in corporate uh, sectors right there will be multiple thousands lakhs of devices and uh, managing this is a tedious task so that's why what these companies do they will give this responsibility to mdms and emms so these are third party companies which will manage the uh, mobile devices of other companies okay so that's how uh, it's uh, going on today and today's question we will see what is u EM okay it's unified endpoint management it allows the business to manage all the endpoints like laptops mobiles tablets pcs and uh, printers wearables so whatever we saw mdm emm mostly they are for mobile devices okay uem is nothing but it's a unified endpoint it will manage all the devices like if a company has wearables manufacturing or if the company has their own printers laptops tablets all these maintained under one head that head is called as unified endpoint management okay these use a single solution and manage these multiple devices i hope uh, this information was clear and you all enjoyed this session i'll see you all soon in my next session until then everyone stay tuned thanks for watching bye take care